Hey, welcome back to Snapple Games. My name's Max, and I'm back with another Popper League, and we're going to be playing some more Rug Ponza today. I played this list through one league on my channel, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go to the channel, check it out. Uh, this deck is really fun. It's exciting. We're playing a new card from the streets of New Capenna, Jewel Thief. It was really impressive in the first league, and I hope it continues to perform because it's a really fun card to be good. Three mana, three, three, Vigilance Trample. When it enters the battlefield, you make a treasure. It ramps you. It helps with your splash. It's a big body. The Vigilance is good. The Trample is good. It's just just really impressive overall. The only thing it doesn't do is draw a card, but it does pretty much everything else. Um, I record all my videos live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash snapboltgames, so you can always come hang out live. I post on Reddit and my Twitter when I go live, so if you uh, want to follow me there, you can come hang out live. Again, so this is just, it's called a Ponza deck, but we only have four land destruction spells in the main deck, so we're kind of a rug midrange deck with a little bit of Ponza. Essentially, we're just basically base green, and then we have a lot of splashes because, uh, or I guess a lot of our cards can produce m multiple colors of mana. Utopia's Brawl produces, you know, blue or red mana, which is nice. Jewel Thief creates a treasure which produces mana of any color, and Acid Moss can get a forest, so it can get Falls or Highland Forest in order to get whatever splash color we need. So we actually have a lot of sources of each color. That being said, our mana is still not great. Um, but getting to play Moldrifter is huge. When you're playing these Cascade cards, having Moldrifter in your deck is just so nice. Plus, drawing two is like so much better than Owlbear drawing one. Uh, so I've been liking Moldrifter. We're going to try it again here. I added the fourth Weather the Storm just because there's so much burn uh, in the online meta. So <clears throat> can't go wrong with four Weather the Storm. Hopefully we play against burn now. Two more land destruction spells, two thermal cards on the sideboard, two calming bursts for mostly for boggles. I've been uh, really liking this card. Two cannonades, three grudge, two pyroblast. Again, very similar to my last list. I think we're playing one more Ash Barons the, than last time as well. The other change I made, I had two Highland Forests, but now I'm playing one Racer's Ring. This card seems great. It's just a dual land that uh, you can tap four sack to draw a card. And uh, it just seems really good in this deck because you can get flooded without anything to do. Uh, so this gives you something to do in the late game, draw a card potentially. Um, plus you don't really need double of these duels because you can get them with Acid Moss. So unless like we're in the mirror and this gets blown up, we don't usually need to get a second red source because all of our red cards only cost single red. Um, so I think the Racer's Ring is good. I also have a build that I'm waiting to try out. Uh, hopefully you get have some time to play it soon, but a red green version of this deck with more copies of Racer's Ring, uh, which seems like a pretty good way to go as well. But without further ado, let's just get right into round one. Let's go. All right, round one, we're against Chris Cobb. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. Hmm, this seems pretty bad, but I'm going to keep it. We have a mountain and then we can Ash Barons for forest. Then we can either just foretell Packmate on two or just play Arbor on two. Again, this hand's pretty bad, but I kind of just wanted to keep it. All right, we're against Boggles. Boggles is kind of a rough matchup, especially game one, but we can land, we can destroy their lands and we can bring in... Um, wow, that's weird that it was that small. Calming Burst. Get Forest. I probably want to just play Arbor here. What'd they get? They got Abundant Growth. I think I just play Arbor. Because then if I draw an untapped land, I can just play a Packmate. I'm also just going to bolt them, I think. Mm -hmm. Not ideal here, but we'll just play a Visionary. Hope to hit land. Missed. Could have Mulligan this hand as well. It was pretty close, but ended up going for it, and it's probably not going to work out for us. They have a 3 3 first strike. Oh, they have a Rancor as well. Oh no, just, an, just another scout. Okay. Land. Pack me. I kind of want to just play another Visionary. I, I need to like get this boarding party down in order to race, I think. So I think I'm just going to play Visionary, attack for two. All right, well, now I'll just play more mana. 
we're like casting spells, but it's probably not going to be good enough. If they have any other good aura, then we just can't beat whatever this becomes. But they don't have anything yet. Okay, well. Now they have a 9-9 nine, nine hexproof first strike, but no trample, no... Oh, this, this actually does, can only be blocked by flyers, so... We need to draw a blue source to play Moe D to chump. That's not going to do it, right? I mean, I can blow up one of these, then they only have three enchantments, but they can likely just play another one. I mean, it's not really getting better. I have to just go for it, and then probably just go in game two here. Don't really want to show them that I'm blue either, but I don't think it's that bad necessarily. I also can't really even foretell because I need to block these, so we'll just pass. So any enchantment kills us. Okay, looks like they don't have it yet. Maybe next turn we... Oh, they have this, they have this, never mind. Okay. I forgot they could just attack with that ledge walker too. I, I seem to always forget about the ledge walker ability, but that's okay. So I think all of these coming in... Whether the storm's okay, but I don't think we want it. I think Bolt is bad. Dino's a little slow. Moe D is actually a little slow as well. Can block fires and everything, but I don't hate this sideboard plan. <laughs> they did in fact block the ledge, yeah. It was pretty straightforward for them that game. But again, now we have Couple land, a couple more land destruction spells, which is good in the matchup. Two Calming Verse, which is our real hate card, as well as Cannonade's pretty strong here. So we do have a lot. I think this looks good. Sure, Cannonade kills Arbor and Llanowar. A lot of times I like to side these out in some matchups when I bring these in. But um, here we just want to be as fast as possible. We don't even really care if we kill our own Arbor in a lot of situations, as long as we're dealing with what they're doing. This looks good to me. Hmm. This is pretty bad. This deck just generally has to mulligan a lot. And it doesn't always mulligan that well. I keep a fair amount of sketchy hands with, with these decks. But, okay, well, hopefully we can blow this up on turn three. All right, so... I think I'm just going Racer, Ring, Fortel, Packmate, turn three, Acid Moss this. Okay. I feel like all my Exile Zones and Sideboard and stuff is, like, the size of it is messed up. Maybe because Magic Online updated or something. Yo, Pumpkin Queen, what's up? Okay, nice. We get to blow up this Utopia Sprawl. Arbor all cannot untap, cannot untap ring, but um, I think it's still a good card in the deck. All right, let's get our blue source now. Pass. Hopefully, no other white source for them. Commune with spirits. Ethereal armor and white source. They're gonna name blue or green. They bring in Hydro, they choose green. They attack for one. And there's a Jewel Thief. So I guess I'm just going Jewel Thief into Cast the Packmate. I am one mana short of Boarding Party, unfortunately. I think I don't I, I don't even use the I don't even need to use the treasure on Jewel Thief, which is nice. So I guess I start with um Packmate then. Another pack mate. All right, let's just still jewel thief here. That gives us an extra mana for next turn, and we just get a three three trample, which is decent. Okay, now we now we just want to draw a calming verse. It's our best draw. We can also cascade into it. 
Moe D. I'm likely not going to die next turn. They played an Ash Barons too, which means they might not have another land. I kind of want to just cast Moldrifter. I get to draw two. And then next turn, I oh, this Dino can't even block this, which is annoying. Because if I boarding party, I get to hit for 12. And then next turn, I can hit for 13, but they're going to gain life. I'm just going to Moe D here. I can also chunk to save two damage if I need to. Hmm. Don't love this. So should I foretell Packmate? Again, Dino does not block Ledgewalker. Am I going to boarding party over Dino anyway? Three, four, five, six. So if I draw a land, I still can't boarding party plus pack mate. I feel like it's worth to foretell. That's close as well. Okay, well, we die. Boggles is, is, again, it's a pretty annoying deck because if they draw really well, it's really hard to interact with. And a lot of times they don't draw that well and they just die to their own draws. So it's either like they kill themselves or they kill you. 0-1, <laughs> let's go round two. All right, welcome to round two. We're against CS for Cookie, Elves Master. Would you like to play first? Yes. This time we have to just Mulligan. And this one is a snap keep. I think I'm putting back Ash Burns. Yeah. Cookie plays elves like I feel like almost every time. Just not a great game one matchup here, and we only have two candidates as well. Sometimes I had th I have three, but okay, that was good. That was really good. I can only actually like make two mana here. I think I want to kill the Lanowar. I can't play Visionary no matter what, so I guess it's pretty straightforward. I just go Highland Forest, Sprawl here, name red, untap, lightning bolt this. And then next turn I can play Visionary. Uh, I mean, of course I want to kill Priest, but didn't know. And a lot of times killing the elf messes them up, especially if they only have one land. So let's go visionary. We're, we can't quite dino yet. I'm going to attack. There's no way they're going to block. They're probably going to go off here. Oh my god, we have two elves in play. <laughs> I was thinking about not bolting the Lanor in case they played Priest, but God. Okay, so I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So let's just lead on Dino, see what we hit. Acid Moss doesn't really do anything here, unfortunately. And then I can bolt the Priest or I can bolt the Lissalana. I have to kind of just hope that their hand is like land random elf and then I think I just kill the 3-3 three, three and just give them the mana because if I kill priest and then they just keep playing elves slowly and making a bunch of elves it's going to be really bad for me. We do have two pyroclasm. Lead the stampede. Okay not a good hit but still decent. I mean timber watch is going to be tough to beat. And then morph. Yep. Yeah. We may even just be dead next turn. Is this elves on the battlefield? It is.
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six. This is plus nine. Morona Jose, thanks for the sub. Really appreciate that. So this is plus nine, but they can't untap. So I can just go block, block. Then they just kill this probably or deal me damage. But I think I need to block. I have to hope that they activate actually because then I could draw bolt and kill this. Oh, they they have this too. Oh, so we're just dead. They have enough mana because of our elves. Yeah, it's lethal. Oh no, it's not. But still game. All right, we're just getting um, owned here. Only two candidates as well. Unfortunate. Asimov is really bad in this matchup too. I just don't have anything else. I I had three cannonades, but I put more weather the storms. Um, and of course we wish we had cannonades for both the matchups we've played. But it is what it is. Just because we don't have anything else that's good, I think this is what we do. Their face down thing was just a virtual ranger. No, land destruction is really bad against them because they have Quarian Ranger. So if Quarian Ranger is on the battlefield, I can't actually kill their lands. They just bounce it back to their hand. I don't think land destruction is good against them. Plus, they just go like, I'm on the play. I play like a ramp spell. They play a land of war elf. I go destroy your land. They can easily just go play second land, play Quarian Ranger, still make like three more mana. I just think land destruction is really... I'd rather just play creatures and then have what removal we have. And then... That's, it is what it is. This is another matchup where, like, killing our own Arbor Elf doesn't really matter if we cannonade, as long as we're, like, killing, you know, five of their creatures or something. That's what matters. Okay. Turn two, Jewel Thief. Turn three, Moly D if we want. Maybe Acid Moss them. We have the actual island Molly D here. And there's the Quarian, exactly. So we can't even destroy their land. It's just really bad. Like, I can't play Asimov. It literally just gets countered. I guess I can force them to balance, but it's just not even that good. I can cast Molly D. That's put puts me farther away from Dino, but I feel like that it's worth it. Otherwise, I don't get to do anything this turn because I can't cast Asimos. So I think I need to just cast Molly D. Pass. No, I mean, sure, we can't land destroy them, but we just need to draw Pyroclasm, basically, is what it is. They're playing a Timberwatch? No, they're playing a Lissalana. Yep. All right. We need we need the Fiery Cannonade. There's Mountain. Could also see if they're F6 to try to kill their forest. I know Cookie plays really fast. Might as well attack first. Alright, they're 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 not they're not F6. He's better than that. Let's see. Ice Cream Joe. What's up? My choice is between Arbor Elf or Cast Molly D or Arbor Elf and Evoke Molly D. I think I like Arbor plus Evoke Molly D. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can also cycle Ash Barons. I don't really need another Moldrick for in play. I just need to get as many looks at a Fiery Cannonade as I can. There's Utopia Sprawl. I actually can't really play that till next turn. Funnily enough, 
because of how my mana is. So I have to go play Mountain, play Arbor, then cycle Ash Barons, probably just get Forest. Another Lissalana. They could easily have Hydroblast or Dispel or Wrap and Vigor to counter our cannonade anyway, but we have to try. Forest. Boarding party. Forest. Sprawl here named Red. So I have six, seven, eight, nine mana. Three, four, five, six. I guess I'm just leading on Dino here. Utopia Sprawl. Might as well put it here for more mana next turn. Arbor. I guess I add blue. I don't know if it matters. Could have added green. I also feel like that they probably do have some type of counter for our red spells. Either Dispel, like I said, Dispel, Hydro, or Wrap and Vigor is usually the combination that they play, like some number of those. Like they're triple blocking the Jewel Thief. Fine with this. This just takes the overall elves on the battlefield way down. 3 3 trample, just too much, I guess. They don't have anything. Wow. That's surprising. I think I'm just leading on boarding party here. It's one mana too many. Wait. Four, five, six. Oh no, it's not. Boarding party into pack mate. Okay. Draw another, the second Acid Moss, which we don't want. Let's play another Pac-Mate. Another Dino. Sucks drawing these. No Bolt for this either, so we can't even take them down mana. I mean, they have a ton of mana with this too. I mean, I'm getting in there. The, the one turn I didn't attack with Moldrifter early in the game, I think it was worth it to not attack. Wow, they're trading off everything? Um, oh, they have Wrap and Vigor here, I guess. Okay, it's really good. At least if we find Cannonade, they, you know, use the Wrap and Vigor. Maybe they have a second one, but still think we're attacking there. Lead the Stampede into only one creature. They've had some pretty bad leads. Play another Lissalana. Double trigger. They have two cards in hand. And they can Virtuar. I think there's no reason not to Ash Barons here. Four, five, six, seven. Another Dino into Redraw. Into Jewel Thief. Okay. I guess I attack with all these. They're at 10. So they have to make some trades. And then I just play a Jewel Thief. Trying these Acid Mosses sucks. We literally just have no other sideboard cards though. If we win this game without a Cannonade, that's pretty impressive. I mean, we've drawn, you know, almost half our deck here.
Our board's pretty massive as well, and they're down to eight. Another lead the stampede. They hit all creatures this time, so they were due for that. Fair enough. See so yeah, what they decide to play out. They just they're gonna get so much here. They even had a they even got a timber watch as well. They can probably play everything because of triple whistle on a every creature they play gives them 1.5 mana with bird tour. I mean, sure, we could have cast Asimov to take them down one mana, but I just don't think that matters. I think either we draw Cannonade or we right now or we or we lose. And actually, even now, is it too late? Because they could save one thing with this and still retain a pretty big board. I mean, this matchup's kind of rough, too, and uh, we didn't really draw what, our hate that we needed. We only have two hate cards, though, so... Oops, they still have Island in the end. Bolt. So I can bolt this. They have seven one ones. They're at eight. I have nine power trample. I think I'm just gonna start by attacking with literally everything, including Arbor Elf. I don't care if they get a free block here. And just try to take them their board down as much as possible, then probably have to bolt this. And maybe play acid mosses as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana potentially. So I think I'm gonna do that. This is basically my only chance. I have nine power trample plus two in the air, so they're at six. So they're gonna have to spend a lot of toughness on these tramplers. And then maybe some chump blocks. Then with the bolt, maybe we get there. Definitely not giving up, but I'm surprised they didn't play like one more creature. Oh, they played these three. I think they played these two that we know about. How do they have five cards still? Oh, they bounced two forests. So they have forest, forest, island, and two blanks. Wild heart, and then one more card. Might have messed that up, but... I think I am correct. I think they have one unknown. So they... I mean, they have a lot of toughness here. 9, 16, 17, 18, 19 toughness, but this is also a lot of attackers. And we might even be able to set up a situation where we're not dead on the crackback. Yeah, this is this is where math is for blockers because here we have this bolt, but we're just like waiting to see how they block and then we determine our play i mean sure we can think about how we're going to do it but it really determines like how they block determines what we do one two three four five six I mean, I have to kill Timberwatch to not die also. So right now I'm hitting them for four. I feel like Cookie's playing around Volt here. Maybe playing, playing around Cannonade 2 with this block. If this is how the blocks are, I just let damage happen and then I Bolt Timberwatch. Because then I'm not dead on the crackback, and I still have pretty good attackers. All right. So let damage happen. This should be one, two, three, four damage. Put them to four. Dino dies. All their all these elf tokens die. And then I bolt Timberwatch. 
because I have to, and then I go acid moss to acid moss. That doesn't do anything, right? They even have Priest of Titania, so they have infinite mana. I'm just going to pretend like I could have something else in hand. Oh, they have Wild Heart Invoker too. So that means we're just dead. And double Corian to make tons of mana. Yeah, so we just lose. Damn. There's nothing we could have done with Bolt anyway. I guess if I had gone Asimov's Asimov's, they would have only had one Ranger activation. But I still think we're probably dead regardless, right? They have 22... They would have. They just have so much mana. GG's. Because even with only, even if I made them bounce two forests, they go play forest, quarry or priest of Titania, make infinite mana, ranger, untap priest, make infinite mana again, pump, 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 kill you. So quick O two for rug Ponza here, but that's okay. Um. Gonna just keep fighting here. We'll see everybody in round three. All right, zero oh and two. Uh, not the best. Not the best start to the league for us. We're in the O two bracket against Impulsive Tempo. I have to mulligan the sand. Sure, we can cast bolts, but I just, I just want to function. Uh, I'm gonna keep, but I don't love it. Hopefully, we draw one drop to play in turn one. That would be best case scenario. We have good mana here. Sure, our hand's really slow, but ooh, burn? Okay. We might lose this game, but we have four Weather the Storms. We came prepared. We came prepared. Okay, they're on one land. Probably just play Land of War Visionary next turn. Depends what they do. Okay, they're just... Bolt, bolt, bolt. We can kill their land next turn. So if they don't draw another land here, get Utopia Sprawl a little late to the party, but not too bad. Nice. Let's go. Another Utopia Sprawl as well. That's fantastic. Because I actually only have one... Oh, no, I have, I have Visionary in play too. But don't want to have to tap Visionary... I have to sprawl name green, then just acid moss, and that's all I can do this turn. Because this has to enchant forests, and I don't want to tap visionary. And I need double green for acid moss here. We'll just get green red. And then pass the turn. Now we need them to still miss on land for a turn or two, because if they just draw land right here, that would be pretty bad. Luckily, they missed. We'll cycle to thin, I suppose. Get another forest. Get more mana. Boarding party. That is exactly what we needed. Go forest. Sprawl name blue. Three, four, five, six. Boarding party into Moidi. Nice. And to draw basically nothing. Maybe I attack with everything here. They're going to be able to chump boarding party at one point, though. I probably want to have a blocker. Oh, no, I have Molly D back. Okay, I can just attack with both these, duh. For some reason, I thought Molly D had haste. Hey, 15th is still a good result, Blitz. They're thinking if they're going to chump boarding party right now or wait. All right, pass. Wow, they just never hit a second land. I think now, even if they draw one, it's going to be a little bit too late at this point. And then we have to win one out of the next two games with a million weathers. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
need to draw another bolt. See if we can just hit. Because then we just win. We probably would have lost this game without the, the one Acid Moss. And apologize for the black background glare. The sun is just at a really low, weird angle right now, so there's nothing I can really do with my setup. But. Alright, Pack Mate. So I guess I just attack with everything. If they chump, I don't get to kill them. Let's see if I bolt. Just attack with everything. Because if they chump here, I still have the win next turn. And if they don't block, then I can kill. Yeah. Doesn't, I don't think it really mattered. I also don't know if it matters what we do here, but I'll just leave a bolt for whatever reason. I don't need to jam Packmate. They just never drew a second land. Seven cards in hand. That was pretty brutal for them, honestly. They were on six, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they, they were on six. Okay. Quad Weather the Storm coming in. I think I just take out Acid Moss. I can take out like two Acid Mosses and two Dinos. I don't think I really need seven drops in my deck. I can kill them with like all these creatures as long as I survive. Like land destruction is usually not that good against them. Calming Verse is interesting too at killing Curse. I could take out all the Acid Mosses and play one Calming Verse and the second Dino. But this fixes our mana too. I think this is fine. Obviously just want to see Weather the Storm. We have the full four copies here. Hey, so speaking of that, does anybody know how can I get the old border preordain on Magic Online? I want to get that. Uh, Sam's not very good, but I'll keep. I know it's just in chests, but can I buy it from any bot right now? Nice. I guess it's greedy to play Arbor, but... I think it's worth like why not impulsive tempo now says keep up the good content good work by the way your youtube content got me back into popper i was worried about this exactly but um it's awesome to hear okay Another Ash Barons. I have some kind of funky options here. Because I can go like Cycle Ash Barons for Forest, play Wild Growth. But I think the line I like is play Highland Forest, play Wild Growth. Next turn I can play Ash Baron, play Pac-Mate. Not like the best, but... I was specifically worried about land Searing Blaze with the Arbor Elf line, but I still do feel like that it's worth it. boarding party. Alright, let's play a 3-3. Three, three. It would be interesting also to foretell both pack mates so I can try to have a better weather the storm when I find one. When, not if. Needle drop us. We're in trouble here. Sometimes you just don't find it. Might even just play out this Ash Barons as well, but 
might just be dead. Another pack mate. So Lanowar Visionary have to draw weather the storm here. I mean they could have another land. And still not be able to kill us next turn. Moe D. I don't have time for Moe D. They say one land into five land. This is the burn life. Well, it's good to know that they have another land in hand. <laughs> this is a good time to talk about. I've been playing uh, Paper Magic. I've played two weekends of Popper in Paper. And I forgot, like, real life opponents give away so much in Paper. They go, oh, I guess I'll keep. Or they just go, like, just like everything they say, what they're talking about, it gives away so much. It's like incredible how much it gives away. Okay, I can get my blue source here, but I feel like I'm just not gonna have time. I also think I don't need to leave up bolt, so. All right. Because now we could Moe D into weather plus land. I could also just sprawl into Packmate here, but then I actually can't cast. I guess I just boarding party. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I just boarding party, hope to hit Weather the Storm. Sprawl name red. Their hand could be Fire Blast land, because they said they had five lands, so they could have drawn another land. Weather the Storm. No. Just get that tap land out of our deck. They could not have lethal, and then we draw one more land. I said, oh no, my land. Give them the LOL. All right, so they have to kill us. Boarding party can still race. Bolt, Bolt kills us, though. So hopefully they just drew another curse, a thermal alchemist, a land. They have a lot of things that don't kill us. They also have a lot that do. The fact that they're thinking here is a good sign for us. Fire blast the boarding party right now. Love that. Because now I still have lethal, actually. I'm going for it. I can't believe we won this. GG's um, impulsive tempo. GG's. They said, oh, land reb in hand. They uh, should not bring in reb in this matchup. We only have four blue spells. They might not have known that. Um, but they said they were a fan of the channel, so they should know the list, right? <laughs> nice to meet you, see you around. All right, we got ourselves a win. We're up to one and two. Let's go round four. All right, welcome to round four. We're one and two. We're against Call Me Moto. Would you like to play first? Yes. Man, we keep having these zero forest hands. Making our splash look much worse. I'm still going to keep this. But it's definitely not as good. 
It looks like we're like a weird draw from like mono blue fey right now. Evolving wilds, that could be blue black fey. So forest. Nice, we draw another forest. It's actually pretty good. They could kill Arbor here, but I think the upside is high enough that I'm just going to play it. So if I get to untap with this, I make so much mana next turn. I mean, I think this hand was definitely a keep. Probably Blue Black Fae. Play Ashburn's Pass? What? Now I just don't know. So they probably have spells that are Sprite in hand. They have to have a spell stutter. I'm still probably going to go play Forest, play Wild Growth. They're going to stutter it. Then I go Utopia Sprawl here, name Red, untap, play Visionary Pass. It's still the line, I think. Yep. Just like we drew it up. And then next turn, if our Arbor Elf survives, we can just cast Boarding Party. I could have just not played any one drops, but I felt like because I knew I could resolve the second Sprawl that it was worth. No Ninja from them. And no removal spell either. Interesting. Right, let's just lead on Boarding Party. Might as well play Forest first in case they somehow have like a Force Spike. Because I'm going to play Arbor Elf anyway. I don't need to play Racer's Ring yet. They just can see before Cascade. That's a little early. We were going to hit Pac-Mate. I mean, I guess they were likely dead, but... I mean, not really. They had a bunch of cards in hand. They could have had like... Snuff out, removal spells. I mean, I guess what it was that their hand was bad. I don't really know how to sideboard in this matchup anymore. I'm going to try it without Cannonade. It doesn't even kill that much from their deck. It can mop up multiple ninjas, but I mean, it is good against them. I can take out like the visionaries or I could just take out like some arbors against the black removal spells arbors are pretty good I could just take out all the visionaries and I mean acid moss isn't even that good either I could do like this because now we have candidate it only kills our own arbor elf we get pyros Sure, we lose out on this cantripper, but Jewel Thief blocks their ninjas better anyway. I'm going to try it like this. Yeah, nice blitz. Um, I think this deck is good, honestly. Our opponents on the mulligan to six. That was such an early concession. Really early. Whoa, no ice tunnel? It might be budget blue-black or something. No colored sources at all yet. Which is not good. This keeps changing size. Hmm. This is probably just going to get countered, but I should cast it. All right, we can't do anything. We need to draw an Ash Barrens Island. Mountain is okay, I guess. It's not even that good. Our draw is just not for Gustwell at all. Three blue cards, four red cards in hand. 
That is that is gross. See if we get hit by ninja here. We do. We don't have much time left. And they don't replay. We need to actually get Island here, I think. Evoke Mole Drifter. They can counterspell it, but... I don't think I want to go for Bolt into Spell Stutter. And this way, if I draw land, I can start hard casting Molly D's. This lets me more likely draw another colored source. They need actual counters for these. I guess they can add just play removal spells on them as well, but at least then I'm still drawing. What's your name, Machador? Opa. So. <laughs> Seer. Gonna take two. Just cast my lady, hope no counter spell. Be shocked if we win this game. But we could. I mean red source right now, boarding party next turn. Sick. Talonator, let's go. Thanks for the sub. Just gonna discard forest here. Next turn we can go like Arbor plus Molly D. We're, I mean, they've they've just hit with ninja so many times at this point, yeah, and another ninja. We do have cannonades in our deck as well, but still no red source. We need double red source to set up cannonade with pyroblast backup, which is just going to be basically impossible here. But I don't like to concede early like the opponent did. Just keep casting Molly D's. See if they spell stutter this. They do. I think it was still worth it to cast it. I can block a ninja now. I don't want to let them keep drawing, basically. Yeah, we've drawn a lot of cards, but we just still don't have a red source. This is making me think that just straight green-red is better without the Mole Drifters, because the mana is still not that great in this deck. Thorn. Sure. Utopia Sprawl. They probably have another spell slitter sprite. I can try to bait three, four, five, six, seven mana. So I can try to bait with Arbor and then go sprawl boarding party. Because they might spell slitter this. I didn't think they had counter, but I think they probably have spell slitter. Damn, they wrecked me. Kill their black source, get our red source, finally. Pass. We could still win this, potentially, with like a boarding party into Cannonade. They play another black source. They must just not have snuff out. Okay, we take. They drop to six cards, they monarch up to seven cards. Augur of Bolas into not counterspell. They missed. Okay. Fairy Seer. Fairy Seer plus Monarch is just such a nice combo. Preordain at home. 
Utopia Sprawl. Sprawl here, name red. So now we can also have Pyroblast backup. Tap like this. Boarding party into cannonade. Lightning bolt. I'm at four. They have four power flyers. So I have to go bolt. I mean, I'm just so dead here, right? Bolt a spell setter. They probably have another spell setter or counter. No, they don't. And then I can go block, block, bolt, pyro. Red blast. Or blue blast. <laughs> Dissolves. So I can go block, kill, kill, take three, go to one. All right, I'm not dead yet. So I have to go Chump Ninja because I need to kill their three toughness guys and then hit a Pyroclasm effect next turn. So I go block here, then untap here. Lightning Bolt this, Pyroblast this. If everything resolves, I go to one. Oh, that oh I went oh I had to go past blocks okay well we're dead even with pyro we, we, we die okay they sighted in Okiba gang shinobi jeez don't think that's very good yeah we were fully on the defensive that game I think I like this cyborg plan. Let's go game three. All right, game three, we're on the play. I mean, I guess. Arbor Elf, so hands in Mold Drifter, sure. We can actually cast our spells, which is nice. I'm gonna attack, I think. If they block, I think that's good for me. I don't think they're gonna block. Wow, I didn't I just really didn't think they were gonna do that. I guess I can't cast Mold Drifter next turn now, but I also don't get hit by ninja. Specifically because I can't cast this next turn, maybe that was wrong, but it really depends on their hand, and I, I just felt like so likely they were not gonna block. Mm, Could have cast Moly D, just punting it away maybe. Not going to offer the trade this time. They were so quick to block as well. OED is really good in uh, certain matchups, though. I mean, also, especially when you resolve it in these matchups, the flying is really good. I'm going to play this because they likely have Counterspell here. I'd rather this get countered than this. Yeah. Next turn I can just boarding party. Better against counter as well. If they like kill this, I can just play Moly D. Okiba gain. Jeez. I guess I have to discard boarding party land. Because then I can guaranteed cast Mole Drifter. Oh my god. And then if they go removal spell, that kind of wrecks us as well. Cannonade is good. I felt like I should play the land. Maybe that was wrong too. I'm, maybe I'm playing terribly because I could have discarded Cannonade land and then had another Mold Drifter, but now I just have land in play. I'm yeah, just getting wrecked. Just losing to this card. Just I think I just misplayed though is what it was.
I was just thinking for sure I should play out my land. And then right after I did it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have done that. That's all right. We're in the one-two bracket. Stakes aren't that high. Three, four, five, six. Brutal. And I have to, I can't chump because then I'm just two mana away from this. I mean, you could say it's bad luck, but it's definitely on me. Okiba Gang is a good card, but it's not usually this good. They have a ninja as well. Look at those triggers. Feels good for the opponent. Feels bad for us. I mean, I'm not going to chump, I don't think. The, the timing on the Okiba was brutal, but then when I played the land, I think that honestly cost me the game, because if I had discarded land, cannon A just cast another Moldrifter. Maybe they play removal, but then I would have got to draw two more cards. I guess then I'm likely to... Dead to removal anyway. Removal spell, make me discard the extra cards. I mean, yeah, this was just really bad. That, they, they might have spells that are the way they paused as well. About to crack a research ring. All right, one, three. We'll try to finish it off for our 50 play points. Try to avoid a one, four. Again, proof right here that I post all my leagues to YouTube. Let's go, uh, let's go for the fifth and final round. All right, one, three bracket on the play for the fifth and final round. We'll keep this. This hand is actually good. This is our first good hand. We have a turn two Acid Moss. Assuming our Arbor Elf survives. It does not. That's fine. We still have Wild Growth into Foretell Packmate, which is still a solid turn two, assuming, uh, given that they killed our one drop. Any land we can still cast Ath and Moss. We can also just cast a 3 3 draw card. Oh, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Wow, I really wanted to cast this on this. So I can go Jewel Thief to guaranteed Acid Moss next turn. I think I like Packmate. Hope to draw land naturally though. They might just be playing straight red green Ponza. We're in the one three bracket, playing the mirror. Nice. I just totally thought it was burn when they bolted our thing. This force is actually pretty sick. Maybe I should get these. Land. Oh man, if they just go land destruction here, it's so bad for us. <laughs> we'll see if they have Acid Moss or Thermokarst. Man, if oh God, if we drew a land there, I feel like this game is just entirely different. They have second bolt. Not yet. Half land. No thermocars one time. Don't do it. For telepack mate. Okay. Land. I think I just take them down on mana. I also get to get either a blue or red source.
definitely kill that. They could have been sandbagging these effects, but I don't think so. Um, I only have four mana right now, so I could cast a Moly Deed next turn. But Boarding Party is just so much stronger. I'll just Falls here. And attack. Hopefully their turn is just pack mate past the turn. It's likely what it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, we are 1-3 in this league. I still think this deck is very good. Looks like our opponent's just on the straight red-green variety. Which, after this league, the mana problems of this deck is making me think that straight red-green is the better choice. Jewel Thief still might be, might be worth the include in just straight red-green. But part of the strength of this card was the mana fixing. Seems like our mana is just costing us a little bit too much. Okay, so either they sandbag that or they just drew it. Wow, they, they could have pack made it. Oh, they're going to now. Okay. We are going to get to Moly D here. They sequence that turn pretty weird. Lead on Moly D, see what we draw. Opponent's also playing pretty slow here. Yeah, I wanted to draw cards now, though. I also didn't want them to maybe kill my blue source randomly. I guess I could have made treasures, but I still think playing the Mole Drifter is the line. Because we could have also drawn into a tap land, played that, which would have been good. They're just trading pack mates. They only have three cards in hand as well, so we're definitely ahead at this point. Even if they play on Moonville Asimoth right here, it's not that bad, because then we can still Asimoth this. This feels like it's going to be Acid Moss on our Wild Growth Land, probably. Oh no, it's just a pack mate. Okay. Yeah, this is great for us. Okay. I still think I should kill this. That just takes them down like four mana, essentially. So I have three, four, five, six. So I can actually do everything, right? I can go Cycle Ash Barons. Or mountain, play Jewel Thief, use the treasure and these three lands to Acid Moss. I think it's just like better to guaranteed Acid Moss this turn, like no matter what, keep them off Dino. Acid Moss that, get another red source. And attack for two. Nice. We're in a really good position now, because now they're only on four mana, and we can now start really, you know, casting our cascade spells. This mirror can be kind of silly. Um, fine with this. I think trading resources is good for us, because I think we're pretty far ahead. So I have three, four, five, eight mana. Can go Jewel Thief into Boarding Party. Seems good. Let me double check. Four, five, six mana. Jewel Thief is strong because it, it basically just costs only two mana. Because you get the rebate of one. And the reason why I'm casting Boarding Party this turn is because I feel like I can just potentially end the game sooner. Plus I get to double spell this turn rather than just Dino. I had to Jewel Thief 
first because I needed to use the trigger to double spell. Yeah, they're sticking treasure onto everything, and it's really, really powerful. Wouldn't be surprised if our boarding party gets bolted here. Does not, and they don't chump. They're going to cast a boarding party. Got to add the mana with Arbor. No owl bear. Bolt. Okay, fine. We still have a dino coming down. Oh well, if they attacked, they were just dead, because then I just don't block. Four, five, six, seven, dino. Demoidy. Bolt is a win right here. Another dino and another and a utopia sprawl. All right, hitting Moldrifter on the Cascades is still really really strong. Bring in the Thermocarsts. I don't think we want Calming Verse just for their enchant lands. Do we take out Jewel Thieves or Visionaries? Probably just take out two Jewel Thieves, call it a day. We can take out one Jewel Thief, one Dino. Dino's pretty expensive in the land destruction mirror. It's also kind of hard to deal with though. Seems fine to me. I'd probably rather have the card from Visionary than the treasure from Jewel Thief here most of the time. Yeah, it's Jewel Scott. I, I thought about that. Um, we have to mulligan this. I'm building some type of treasure deck, but I don't think it's quite there. Wow, this hand is terrible. Do I keep it though? Can I win with this? But can I win on five? I mean, maybe. This is really bad. I'm going to keep a lot of lands. Could have bottomed a wild growth as well. I think I'm not gonna wild growth. I sh I should because they can't land destruction next turn, and then I can just cast visionary. So even though it feels pretty bad, I should still wild growth. Tell Packmate. They kept a pretty slow hand. So they can maybe Thermocarst our land. It's not even that bad at this point. I can cast Jewel Thief. Oh, okay, they are playing the Thief. It's cool. And they bolt. Thermocarst. Pretty tempting to thermocars this, but I kind of want to wait for them to play an enchant land. So I think I'm going to go... I don't even really know what I want to cycle Ash Barons for yet. Because I'm going to Jewel Thief Bolt. I guess I'm going to cycle anyway, but I guess I can wait. I don't even need to bolt because I can just trade jewel thieves. I can just wait on bolting. Cast a pack mate. Bolt. Now I don't know if I can wait on bolting. They have two three threes. I think I just need to bolt now. Then 
Do I cycle right now? I think so. I guess I just get Mountain. Sure, I could top deck Molly D, but I only have four of those and I have seven red cards. I have three bolts and boarding parties. Gonna have to thermal cards if I don't draw anything, just to do something. All right, we draw another Ash Barons anyway. Oops, let's just stop with this. We're definitely behind here. They play a ring, they attack, and then I'll get Island. Our turn. Packmate. Packmate's good. Because I could draw a bolt or like a one drop green spell that I want to play. So I think tapping like this is best. I think we're actually ahead at this point. Sure, it depends what they have here. Play to forest and pass the turn. Wow, that's surprising. I think we just lead on visionary because I can always foretell packmate. Mm. If we draw an untapped land, I can just cast it too. They should not bolt in response. There's no way. Ring, foretell. I mean, they could also have Bolt in hand. They could have more lands in hand. They just top deck a Jewel Thief. They cited in Weather the Storm? That is, I don't think that's right. I just think that's 100% wrong. It's not about gaining life in this matchup. It's about killing their land and getting up on card advantage and then grinding for the win. Boarding party. Like, the six life they gain here just isn't going to matter. They concede. Okay. Yeah, don't side in whether the storm in the, the ponds of mirror. So, ended up 2-3 with the deck. Obviously, not the best result. Um, but you're going to have some bad leagues, even like if you play what you think is the tier one deck, the best deck in the format, you're still going to have some bad leagues once in a while. I think this deck is really solid. I'm not sure if the red green deck, the straight red green is, uh, going to be better than this. I do really like this build. The mana is a little bit rough, but again, I, I think it's solid. Um, so I plan on trying the red green version, uh, soon here. Um, but I think no changes to this list feels good. I like no thermal curse main in, in this version. Um, I think the one racer's ring, go one ring, one for Highland Forest is, is solid. Triple Ash Barons was good too. Just give me a little more mana fixing. Um, it's also, there's also a potential that you could play um, Abundant Growth in this deck, some number of Abundant Growths. Um, it cycles, so even when you hit it off Cascade, it's like you play like a seven mana, six, five, reach trample draw card it's not the worst but it does make your cascades a little bit worse because you'd rather hit like something that affects the board and draws cards uh so i'm not too sure about doing that but really like the list thanks so much for watching that'll wrap up this youtube video youtube.com snapbolt go check it out thanks so much peace